Okay. Hi. Um, I am Karen Barrier, and I am the Director of Campus Operations here in New Bedford. Um, and we've been thinking about the fact that you guys have been really studying hard and you're focused on getting financial assistance and, you know, getting the grades that you need, but then what? Um, so we want to make sure that all of this effort will end up turning into an opportunity for a job um, that you can be successful. And that's another step if you haven't gone for a job or if you've only done a minor piece of that it would be really important that you understand, first of all, how to choose one. You know, what are your skills? What are the courses you've been taking? How is that going to help you to get a job? You know, so we have a lot of resources in our library, and that's going to be addressed today, that you can kind of start searching out jobs, preparing for certification exams, so that you will have an idea of where to take more courses if you need them, or to use the courses you have to get a job that you want. Um, we're also going to have um, someone from our career center. We do have one, in case you don't know it, uh, in New Bedford, and uh, for, I'm sorry, in Fall River. And they, we have a representative that comes to New Bedford who helps you um, to get through the process of, again, choosing a job, making sure you're in the right courses, where are these jobs available. Some of the sites that you can go to, like Indeed is one of them, but there are many others. So we have people here to help you, so you're not on your own. Um, but we want to let you know today who those people are, what they can do for you, et cetera. Um, then, in order to get a job, in many cases, you have to write a resume. And that's always a little scary thing for people, like, how do I do that? What have I actually done? Well, it's important that you, know, you kind of get fleshed out about what you have done. You, you might be surprised at how much more that you've done than you thought. Maybe you volunteered at a camp. Maybe you did some service things. Um, all of these will be integrated into your resume to make you look like a better candidate for the job. So that's the paper piece that you will present maybe even before you go for your interview. Um, so every piece of this is going to determine how an employer looks at you. So we want to make sure that every piece that you do is very professional, represents you well, and gives you the best opportunity to get a job. So we're going to teach you a little bit about how to write a cover letter and also a resume. And then, of course, it's how do you look when you go for the job. Um, I'm sorry, but you can't wear the leggings. It's not going to work. People aren't going to be impressed. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll give you a little anecdotal story. My daughter, when she graduated from college, um, one of her friends had a position that she said she would be good for. So she was ready to go. She had a resume. And of course, as a mom, I said, what are you going to wear? And she said, oh, I'm just going to meet with my friend. So I pulled out a three-piece suit and some heels. Fortunately, we're the same size. And she wore it. And she came back and she said, well, as it turns out, the owner of the business and five other people took me to lunch. I now have the job. So if she'd gone in her cute jeans and her t-shirt, she might not have made the impression she needed to make. So whenever you go, even to drop off your resume or to ask for information, make sure you look like the business presentable, professional person, because every time you show up, you're presenting yourself. And we're going to give you a fashion show from um, TJ Maxx's and Modern Exchange, which is right around the corner, and to show you how you can put clothes together in several different ways so you don't have to spend a fortune to be able to work and look nice and look professional. Um, the other piece, of course, is that if you get past the resume and maybe even getting the appointment and you know how to dress, you might have to have an interview. And that's always a little scary to people because they're always worried that, hey, you know, what am I going to say? How do I say it? Et cetera. So if you um, practice, you might get better. So we're going to show you how to do some mock interviews here, what to say, what not to say, how to answer some questions. And again, practice makes perfect. Um, sometimes it's even good to go for a job you don't want and go for a few interviews because you don't care if you get that job. So you can practice on them for a little while. And then by the time you go for the job you really want, now you feel really much better about yourself. And they've asked you similar questions, and you're pretty good on your feet by that time. Um, 
And then finally, we're also going to be introducing you to some people in New Bedford Career Center, which is run more by the city. And that is a free resource for you. And they are, have all new jobs that come to them on a daily basis. They also have great resources. And so we're going to have a representative from them to tell you what they have to offer you as uh, a person from New Bedford and as a student from New Bedford. So it's going to be a very packed day. We also have some lunch around the corner. We promise to feed you and give you some breaks. Um, but I hope you really learn a lot. Um, and I hope it really leads you to get a job that you really want, because I think it's going to be helpful for you. Does anybody have any questions? OK. Well, I think um, I really went fast. OK. Um, so Susan, I, do you want to kind of speed this up a little bit? Because I know you said you had a lot, and then we can give them a break. OK. I know. It really is. So thank you for coming. Thank you for investing in yourself. That's an important piece. Um, you know, the more confidence you can display, the more that you can show that you're a good person to hire, that's going to come across to someone. Um, there's, by the way, there's two, peop two reasons why people don't hire you. Uh, one is because you're going to make them look bad. And the other one, so, you know, like if they hired you and you weren't really that great, they're going to be concerned. So you have to really, you know, show that you're really a valuable person. The second reason they don't hire you is because they're afraid you might take their job. So you don't want to look too good. <laughs> All right, good luck, guys.